In this video, we will show you how to fit the aluminium base rails to your polytunnel. Unless you have decided to install side ventilation on your polytunnel, base rails are used to attach your polytunnel cover to ensure a secure and tight fit. Here are the parts you'll need. The aluminium base rail is made up of lengths of aluminium rail which are 61 centimeters, 1.3 meters, and 1.53 meters. The base rail fixes to the outside of the framework with the T-slot internally facing and the cover fixing channel towards the bottom. It is attached to the framework using intermediate clamps and corner clamps. We will start by fitting a 1.3 meter length of base rail from the door post to the corner hoop. This piece will extend beyond the width of your polytunnel and will be trimmed to size at the end. The 61 cm and 1.53 meter lengths will be used down the length of your polytunnel, corner to corner. If your polytunnel has a slope across the width, then we suggest fitting the rail on the side that is highest first. Your foundations will have been positioned at a consistent height, and consequently the swage joint can act as an indicator for the position of the rail. Set the base of the rail in line with the joint on the foundation. Fit a corner clamp to the corner hoop. To assemble, place the U-bolt around the corner hoop with the threads pointing to the inside of the polytunnel. Place the tube pressing and then corner clamp onto the threads, ensuring the corner clamp wings run parallel with the width and length of the polytunnel and loosely secure in place. Position the base rail on the front face of the door post with the bottom of the rail also in line with the joint on the corner hoop. Ensure the rail is level using a spirit level. Mark the door post in line with the T-slot and in the center of the door post. Use a 9mm wood drill bit to drill a hole through the door post. Slide a 90mm M8 bolt into the T-slot and then through the pre-drilled hole. Fix in place using a nut and washer, ensuring the end of the base rail is flush with the inner edge of the door post. To fix the base rail to the corner clamp, slide a 16mm M8 bolt into the T-slot of the rail and through the corner clamp and loosely secure into place. While using the level, move the corner clamp up or down to make it level, then tighten the nuts on the corner clamp. Tighten the bolt that secures the base rail to the corner clamp. We will now fit the aluminium base rail down the length of your polytunnel. Starting with the 61cm length, slide a 16mm M8 bolt down the T-slot and locate the bolt through the corner clamp. Butt the base rail up to the corner base rail and tighten the nut. You will now start to use the one53 meter length of the base rail. Join this length to the previously fitted length using a rail joiner. Slide half of the rail joiner onto one piece of the base rail and tighten the screws using the Allen key provided. Then, slide the second piece of the base rail onto the rail joiner and tighten the screws. To secure the base rail to the intermediate hoop, slide two hexagon bolts from the intermediate clamps down to the T-slot of the base rail. Position them at either side of the hoop. Place the curved pressing over the bolts and tighten. Repeat this procedure until you reach the end of your polytunnel. The final piece will exceed the length of your polytunnel and we will trim this off at the end. Measure and cut a piece of aluminium base rail to fit between the corner hoop and the inner edge of the door post on the opposite ends of the polytunnel and fit using the same method as earlier. Where the base rails exceed the width and length of your polytunnel, cut off the excess with a hacksaw. The sawn edges will be sharp. It is important that these are filed smooth before the cover is fitted for safety and so that they don't damage the polythene cover. We can now fit the base rail on the opposite side. If your ground is not on a slope, then repeat the procedure you followed for the first half. If you have a slope across the width, fitting the rail on this joint will create an unnecessary gap. We advise setting the base rail at a height that eliminates the gap as much as possible, but still ensuring that the rail from the doorpost to the corner hoop is level. Ensure that the rail is at a consistent height. A string line will be handy here. 
you can find more videos to help you build your polytunnel and construct.firsttunnels.co.uk. We also have a construction helpline if you require any further assistance.